Something I always tell my kids is to live with purpose. The mission's fun, man. Frick, I've truly come to know my Savior so well. God helps us in so many ways. Helping other people come into Christ. I see miracles every day, y'all. And that's how I find peace in Christ. God is always there to, like, be our peace. They can do anything with Christ. Every effort counts, so make sure that you're going out and you're showing that love to everybody. Sunshine and love with us. Here we go. You're assigned to labor in the Fiji Suva mission. Come a day when it all works out. And you didn't even have to try. You were fine with your life. Your hey Sunshine Nation. We are so excited about this video because many of you know that Tyson is on a mission in Fiji and I am just so touched at what he's doing. Jackson served in Colombia. Something I always tell my kids is to live with purpose. That's what brings you the greatest happiness. Living with purpose, knowing why you're here, knowing that it's more than just eating, sleeping, working out, whatever, going to work, but it's being kind to each other, loving each other. Abe and I teach our children that when you put God first, your heart and your mind is in the right place and everything else falls into place when you take time to connect to heaven. So that's my message. Kid, take time to connect with heaven, put God first and live with purpose and everything else falls into place. You'll just want to be kinder. You'll want to be more loving. You'll want to serve others. You'll want to have the energy to just do as much good in the life as possible. We love you and I hope you enjoy these messages from Tyson and everyone else. Yo, Bulevinaka, how are all of you guys doing? I'm Elder Mills. And I'm the second oldest in my family, and I've been serving my mission here in the Fiji Suva Mission for a little bit over a year now. And the mission's fun, man. Frick, uh, it's been, it seems like it's been so long since I've been back home. I love where I'm serving. As you can see, there's a bunch of palm trees everywhere. It's kind of chill. I'm serving right in the city right now, and it's still just beautiful. But, man, I, I'd love to share my testimony about this work. You know, I've been out for a long time, and I... I've truly come to know my Savior so well. You know, a mission has changed me so much. I always tell people, like, why I went on a mission. I said, why I chose to go on a mission was because my brother and my, my parents, they, they all served missions, and their example to me was great. It was just a great example to me, and I, I felt I knew there was something out there for me. You know, I didn't know completely what it was. You know, I was, I was still young. I'm still young now. But now on the mission, I love to tell people why I'm staying out here. And why I'm staying out here is because of my relationship with my Savior, Jesus Christ. You know, a, a mission's not easy, man. Not even here in Fiji, where it's like, we have the nicest people. We're speaking Fijian, which is cool. And people just everywhere. This is like probably the happiest people you'll find. Even in this amazing, beautiful place, as you can see. You know, we, we still face hard, we, we face hard times. Hard times in life. A mission's not easy. But I talked with my mission president once about these, these hard things I was facing about things. And he asked me, he said, why are you on the mission, Elder Mills? So I thought about it and I told him, I said, I, I want to be an example to my brother. And he's going on a mission soon and I know my other siblings will as well, you know. And uh, he said, I love that. It's a great answer. But that shouldn't be why you're on the mission. He said, You'd be, you should be on the mission because of your Savior, Jesus Christ. He said, your Savior, Jesus Christ should be the key, the center point to why you're out here. The testimony of Him and your love for Him. You should come to know your Savior so well that, you know, it's all because of Him. That's a foundation that can never break because Jesus Christ is there for us. He is truly our Savior. He suffered and died for us. You know, I, I love when my president told me this because I came, I came to peace with myself and I found so much peace in my mission, in my time here, and I still have more time, which is beautiful. But a mission has really changed me and my perspective and who I am as a whole. The, the, the things I've learned in the mission, I couldn't, I couldn't have found these things anywhere else. You know, I'm still going, still have some more time, and I still face hard times. But my Savior, Jesus Christ, is my foundation. He's my reason I'm out here. Because of His grace, 
He gave me the opportunity to be out here. It's a blessing now. I see this as a blessing that I'm able to serve for two years, helping other people come into Christ. I see miracles every day, y'all. It's insane, man. Like, watching people come to know their Savior. If you guys know your Savior, you guys know the love He has in your family, I want you to stop being selfish. Think about all those other people in the world and know that it's important for them to hear the same message. No matter where you go to serve, there is someone there waiting for you. And they need to hear this message, and that's the reason that I'm here. This work is great. I love my Savior, Jesus Christ. I love my family. And I love my mission. I love serving in Fiji. You can see my companion. He's down there. He's waiting for me. But back to the work. We're about to have some baptism, so hype me up. You guys better be praying for us. It's going to be exciting. I love being a missionary, man. And if you ever want to reach out to me, you can email me on tyson.mills at missionary.org. No, I, I know that he lives, and I love my parents. Make sure that I hope they, they're sharing good things with you guys. I share all this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hey, everybody. I just want to let everybody know that Jesus loves you, and he will make it known in your life. And sometimes in life, I know I have had struggles, and I, I'm sure you guys have had struggles before. And it doesn't seem like Jesus is there for us doesn't seem like he loves us doesn't see we can't see the blessings but I like to think of it as Jesus is constantly showering us with blessings and he's constantly showering us with love and sometimes we put up an umbrella and start to block those blessings but when we close that umbrella we can start feeling this peace and love again and that's how I find peace in Christ and that, just knowing that has helped me want to share his love with more people and that's what kind of has given me a desire to go on a mission and thank you guys for listening to that and I share these things in the Christ amen I just want to say that with everything that goes on in life, because there's always going to be crazy stuff. There's always going to be challenges. There's always going to be trials. God is always there to like, be our peace in the hard times. And I can always find my peace through Christ, especially when I'm doing sports or if I'm doing anything really in life. If I say a prayer, I'm able to feel peace and feel like, feel like I can like do, do this and feel the strength that I need and I'm not as panicked and even in school like I'll be stressed out about something I say a prayer and I just feel peace and I know I can always find peace in Christ yeah I bear my testimony of that and I know he loves me so much I can feel my Savior so close to me He leads me forward through paths unknown And when my strength is gone He heals my weary soul and shows me who I could be
spent time reading things. And once I read the scriptures more, I felt so much better and I was better at my English and math and reading. And the more I stayed on that path and reading my scriptures, I felt so much faith inside that I had this opportunity to learn more by reading the scriptures. Because the more you read the scriptures, the more your schoolwork is better. God helps us in so many ways. Every day I take about 10 minutes to just focus on him. It like calms me. If I'm doing homework and I'm really stressed, I can go and take that five minutes and or 10. And it just helps me be calm and then I can like get everything done after that. And it just, it helps spending time with God and um, and being faithful to him. I'm so glad that we get a chance to talk to our kids and to teach our kids about how important it is to have Jesus Christ in our lives and to have a purpose in our lives. And that's something that we always talk about is to make sure that when they're going about their business, that it's not just for the sake of going about their business, getting good at something, not just for the sake of getting good at something, but so that you can use that talent to serve God and to serve, serve others. And so we, we really enjoy the opportunity to watch them as they learn these things and to watch them as they make these goals that are sometimes big goals. So it's really important for us that they understand the source of their goodness, the source of their abilities, the source of their talents. And we know that if they always remember where what they have comes from, then they'll always be humble and understand that is they can't do this alone. They can do anything with Christ. What is up, Sunshine Nation? So I just wanted to explain this video. I'm drumming, so those logs that you see me playing on, they're called tueres. And then I got that bass drum. We call that the pahu aratai. So these drums, they have to be played a certain way. There's certain beats that you have to play. So I'm playing the lead drum, I'm playing the bass drum and the, the log drum. You see my friend over there, he's playing the other drum. And we all have to be playing a certain part so that everything can sync together. Okay, so once we sync it all together, it creates a really cool sounding beat. Now, I just wanted to, you know, compare that to life and how in life we have certain things that we have to do. You know, all these little things that we do, for example, we pray to God, we say hi to somebody, we're making these little efforts to be a better person. These things add up to make that beautiful beat, right? So we need to make sure that we're always putting those small efforts in. Every effort counts. So make sure that you're going out and you're showing that love to everybody, making sure that you're doing the things that you need to be doing to grow closer to God. Keep spreading sunshine. You see the sun. Oh, and aloha.